Uh, finally tonight, we have the Scott, the Scott Six Killer Sinqua joining us. How cool is this? So they're representing the Gila River, Pima, Hopi, Cherokee, and Chaka nations. Scott is a two-time and current world champion hoop dancer. He's accompanied by fellow world champion hoop dancers Monty Sinqua and Samson Six Killer Sinqua. If you go to SinquaProductions.com, give them a shout, give them a plug. SinquaProductions.com. Family business, Sinqua Productions provides hands-on workshop, educational dance performances, capture any audience's attention for over a decade. The Sinqua has been fortunate to travel across North America and into the United Kingdom, Europe. They share their passion for indigenous culture through song and dance. Please welcome, a warm Mesa welcome to the Sinquas. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Arizona. We are the Cinqua family. We'd like to uh, thank you for allowing us to be part of your evening. We're gonna start off our presentation with a honor song in honor of all of our veterans, past and present, that fought for what we have and for us to be living here in this beautiful life in this beautiful country. Let's put our hands together for all of our service people, past and present. But this song here was composed by Samson here, so I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. These styles of songs, these styles of dancing that we're showing up here today, these are intertribal forms of singing and dancing. Intertribal meaning that many nations across the US as well as into Canada participate in these dances. Just depending on where you may come from, there's different origin stories as well as nations may use traditional colors as well as traditional designs in their outfits. This hoop dance that we're sharing with you today we were taught that it came from Taos, New Mexico. It was a ceremony long ago where a little boy would do a dance while his grandfather sang for him. Back then he was dancing with one hoop and they said that every time he passed his body through the hoop, he was adding another day, month, or year onto a sick individual's life. So there was many people that came from across and miles around to be healed by this little boy and his grandfather. The children of the nation, they saw this dance they went down to the water, they began to make their own hoops using willow and reed, and they began to mimic this dancer. They wove their body through the hoop, but they also began to make more hoops and weave them together to create formations of life that they saw around them, such as the butterfly, the eagle, the ladder of life, the pottery. So the version of the hoop dance that you're seeing here today is what the children created. It's evolved into a very contemporary dance, a lot of Fast footwork, a lot of new formations. You're going to have to use your imagination to see the many things from life. Again, you might see 
a butterfly, an eagle. If you look hard enough, you might see Mickey Mouse. Nowadays, you'll see a cowboy on a horse, an alligator. But you're, you're going to have to use your imagination again, as I said. Monte Cinque here is the current senior adult category hoop dance champion. He is a three-time world hoop dance champion. My brother here is a 2022 world hoop dance title holder for the hoop dance adults category. And he was nice enough to hand the title to his little brother. <laughs> but again, we still like to use the same healing aspects of this dance. We like to share it with as many people as we can. We've been very fortunate to travel all across US, Canada, overseas, always trying to uh, bring joy to everybody that we, that we see. So I hope you enjoy our version of the hoop dance. Thank you. All right. Again, if you see anything you enjoy, don't be afraid to let them know. You can clap, scream, yell. You can even do the wave. But the harder you cheer, the harder they're going to dance. Let's bring them out with a gigantic round of applause. Monty Sinqua, Scott Six Killer Sinqua, world champions. Yeah! 
Great job. Sinqua Productions, give them a round of applause one last time.